Meanwhile, for the Wizards, when you think of Chicago and you think of Michael Jordan and you think of that Bulls team, you think of really only one coach for that Bulls team, and that would be Phil Jackson. From the time he took over, Jackson found a way to not only energize Michael, but to challenge Jordan. He has nine NBA titles and nine finals appearances as a head coach, and those two together formed quite a team. Phil Jackson joins us live from Los Angeles, where the Lakers are preparing to take on the Nets in the second game of our doubleheader. Coach Jackson, thanks a lot for joining us. Pleasure to be here, Kevin. Hey, uh, right off the bat, i got to ask you, your thoughts on Michael so far tonight. Well, this has been a great game for him, but, you know, Greg Anthony can attest, if you're a left-hander like Jalen Rose is, you know, you've got a real good shot at that right-hander when he's bringing the ball up, and that's one of the things Jalen could do with Michael. He faced him a couple times in some tough Indiana Pacers playoffs, and, uh, you know, Jalen's right there stripping him when he's coming up with the ball, and, and that's a tough one to get over, and, uh, you know, Michael's going to have to find a way. And they've had a couple of head-on-head -head battles over the years, so this is a really great matchup people are watching. And you don't see a Michael that can break him down on the outside with his speed now, but has to use pivots, back him in a little bit, use his post-up moves, and, you know, he's not getting the clear shots that he wants to get. And I, I'd like to see him come back the second half and have a good uh, performance. All right, so you'd like to see Michael come back in the second half. What about next year is michael really retiring do we all really believe that this is it this is the end i have to take him for his word if he says this is going to be the last go around I, I think it really is going to be that and um you know he wanted to come back and finish a year and last year really basically from the time he played the lakers here in the first game after the all-star break he had about three or four more games in which he played pretty well and then his knee was just tough on him and he couldn't finish and he wants to finish a full season he got himself in great shape this year, and he wants to do that for the club. And, and you know, he's an owner in this organization. He's really the motivator in this, uh, in this Wizards uh, group, and, and they've, they've come a long way. They're, they're now a competitive, good basketball team. They were really not there about two years ago before Michael got, uh, in, you know, really invested in this ball club. Coach Jackson, Greg Anthony, how you doing? Hey, Greg. Listen, actually, you're right. The Wizards have a better record than the Lakers do right now. So that's that's <laughs> <saying, saying> no, <laughs> <they're rubbing laughs> no, but all, in all seriousness, you know, thinking back to your first championship, if you can remember back that far after having won nine, what do you think you learned from Michael Jordan as a player that you utilize in your coaching philosophy to this day? Well, the key the key about Michael is that, you know, he had his opportunities early in his career with first four or five years. He's in the league to shoot 35, 45 times score 40, 50 uh, points in a basketball game and found that no matter how great he played, there are a lot of nights he couldn't overcome another team. It was a team game and the supporting act had to, to come from five guys. And he had to share the ball and he had to find a way to incorporate his great individual game in a team game. And even into the last game of that championship, uh, uh, the first one that we've got against the Lakers at the Forum, you know, I had to encourage Michael, penetrate, pitch to Paxson. He's going to be wide open. All they're concerned about is that Jordan's going to try and score. He's going to want to win the championship so bad, he's going to try and do everything. Show them that you can pass the ball and move it ahead. I think Paxson had seven jump shots off of uh, Jordan passes, yeah, off just middle penetration and easy dishes. And that's what Michael um, you know, really learned is how to play in a system and provide the leadership for a ball club not only through his scoring and his intense drive but also through his uh, his distributorship of the ball in many ways you and michael so similar do you miss the connection with him a lot in fact uh, you know i've solicited his help uh, you know here with the lakers the first year i was here he was out of basketball you know just having him come in talk to kobe a little bit about playing the guard position in this uh triangle offense and how it can be frustrating because it you know, it could be a lot about spacing, and there's not a lot of room for individual showmanship or room or scoring, and you know, just allowing the game to kind of be be uh, played at a level where it's it's um, you know more passing and movement than dribble and and scoring. And, and Michael, you know, just has a great feel for basketball, great feel for fundamentals of basketball. And because of that, coach, do you ever think there's a chance that uh, no matter what the venture of you and Michael reuniting at some point? <laughs> I don't know how we do it. I mean. Uh, you know, Doug's a great coach for him to just re-establish the kind of direction and energy and uh, tension that uh, a team has to have to get back in a winning form. And, and uh, Washington's kind of got that back. And Doug's a good uh, drive kind of guy. He puts a lot of intensity into it.
I don't see myself coming back and dealing with Michael as a, uh, <laughs> in a coach ownership relationship. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.